Hi folks, it's Mike here from Blastersmiths UK. Um, today I'm going to be talking about our Retaliator Bolt Action uh, Conversion Kit. This is a 3D printed PLA kit available from our website. It includes uh, a full 3D printed overslide conversion with optional uh, Picatinny rail along the top. It includes all the fit metal fixings and bolts that you need and this lovely knurled aluminium uh, bolt handle uh, from UK Nerf War. This video will cover the installation of this kit. Uh, it's a very simple uh, piece of equipment. It simply replaces the standard overhand prime with a very solid and secure bolt prime. You can place the bolt on either side of the slide depending on your preference. And uh, if for an extra fee, if you contact us with the, through the link below, we could even provide you with a second handle if you felt that uh, you couldn't decide between uh, one or the other side. The standard kit only contains one handle, but we can offer extra if you ask nicely. Uh, this kit is 3D printed here in our workshop in the United Kingdom. So as such, it is, um, as such, it is, um, due to our lead times policy, which can also be found linked in the description. Uh, we make each of these to order. And this is the exact kit that we will be shipping out uh, to you if you order from our website. So without further ado, I'm going to get on with showing you what's in the kit and how to fit this to your blaster. So to begin with, you're going to want to drill out the various holes and bits and pieces. Uh, we leave the holes to for you to drill um, because different temperatures cause different interactions with the bolts. So pick one of your uh, sides to start with um, and then match your, so take this component and then match your components to the blaster and you want to set them so that they're like so and then they'll sit within the expected parameters uh, and again so this is the forward edge of the blaster this is the nozzle here and this is the back this is where the stock would be and at all times the inset recessed uh, screw goes towards the nozzle towards the stock and so you match them so that they fit and those are your three pieces for this side. So to begin with, you want to take your middle plate, your standard plate, and uh, you want to take one of your half nuts and slot it into position there. You then want to take your slot head screwdriver, uh, slot head screw, slot it through there and into the Right there, just holding it in place like so. So this forms the the M4 screw is to interface with the bolt sled on your retaliator. Uh, an M4 screw is chosen because it isn't big enough to grind away at the stock plastic of the. Of the retaliator, so you won't shouldn't get or you should get a very minimal amount of shaving. And then you take that and you slot it through your um, overslide piece. And at this point, it can be quite helpful to take some super glue and just quickly add a couple of dabs here and there, trying to actually get on the exterior of the plastic. Just a few dabs here and there, just to screw these together. You'd probably want to put a slightly more thorough covering um, than I put on there just because the, the layers won't come apart, they are fully screwed together but sometimes it just helps to have a little bit of extra security. So your next step would be to take your M3 bolt, one of its associated nylocks and I usually recommend at this date you bring out the M335. Now the M335 isn't actually used in this kit in a sort of structural sense, but it is very useful to uh, take the um, 
he was very useful as a sort of guiding uh, nuts into their positions because it's over long it allows you to do this and you basically then unscrew it again and when you come to introduce your M uh, M310 just a moment it's already sitting there and the nuts already trapped and you can take your screwdriver and very quickly just insert like two like so and the M3 bolt obviously secures both halves of this together at the front and the back uh, and then obviously if you push it in far enough it can also act as a standoff and in some retaliators you do need to push this screw through and it stops the side to side wobble um, if you do if you if you need that and some retaliators need it and some don't uh, I tested this kit on about eight different retaliators and two of them needed a little bit of extra help from the back end otherwise your screw will just sit out the front and looks quite sort of, you know, stable like that and then, so your final stage is to decide what side you want your priming handle on. Uh, and once you've worked that out, take your M5 hex head bolt and your screw and pop the two through like so and screw that in place. Now, some people choose to use Threadlock to hold this in place. Personally, I don't because you might decide to change sides you might decide that you want to put the handle on another side so i don't recommend thread locking this in place just screw it in until it's finger tight and it'll hold nice and securely for you so we'll now do the same process for the other side so if you take your retaliator and i have stripped this one to its absolute bare components um, and you can start to put your blaster together. So, take your um, your right hand piece, whether it's got the handle on it or not, and pop it in place like so. You take some thread lock. Again, you can find this on eBay, nice and cheap. Um, this bottle is about two pound fifty. Uh, and if you take uh, your screw, like so and you just put a little bit of thread lock on the inside like that and then take one of your M4 half nuts and you want to screw it so that it's finger tight to the... Um, no, it can be a little bit challenging, I've got lots of grease on my fingers here so it can be a bit challenging to put the uh, bolt in place and what will happen is the thread lock will set Okay, and there's enough resistance in this nut to prevent the slide from being pulled out of position uh, when operating it. Now it is important to get it into this position because any other position it will start to grind out plastic and cause damage. Uh, and that will set for you quietly in the background. Whilst you move to doing the same for your other, other slot. Take your final M4 half nut Again, again with the thread lock, managed to get that on the inside of the shell, don't worry too much, it doesn't stick terribly well to anything that isn't uh, threads. And again, finger tight, didn't need any tools or anything for this, just do it with my finger. Um, and so this will stop your, uh, should stop your, well, it will stop your uh, blaster from coming apart at the seams. Move up and down, this one hasn't been totally well used. If you take your bolt sled, okay, the M4 bolt will interact with that on the other side, like so. Bring that forward, and that should settle there, like that. And then you bring the other half of your bolt, of your uh, blaster, and close it like this. So, snap shut for you. Okay. So now we have our final um, finished unit here. You can see all four bolts are engaged and everything's nice and tidy. Uh, I can't seem to prime this one because I think one of the locks on the bolt sled is engaged on the inside. Um, so I'll just remind you of the action of the full kit, of this full production kit here. Uh, Back, 
I'm actually doing that with, doing that with the uh, with the side is a bit odd. So this is proof that it works in uh, reality. This has got a five kilo spring in it, and as you can see, it's a nice smooth action frame. So. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions or queries or need any help, then please don't hesitate to drop us an email. I'll do what I can to uh, help out. Uh, keep an eye out on the website and on our Facebook and here on YouTube for new products and new releases. Uh, I look forward to seeing your blasters on the field.